Been in a land where it's simple to lynch blacks Drinking all alone on a stoop and I sit back Try to see the brightness in the world but it's pitch black Words from the savior love your neighbor is intact Somehow the translation getting lost in the syntax You could take the culture, take the clothes, but I've been black First time I heard the word nigga was six jack And homie was six two Skin was the color of kids glue I never held the hate in my heart, it slipped through But it seemed the country never got the memo They just Uncle Ben, you hurt and get you Cops will dead you, take indictments off the menu Jim Crow back again, black Brandon Lee shit. I just throw a black fist, pledging my allegiance. They just want to dance though, they don't want to read shit. All they want is Sambo, all they want is Heathcliff. I'm too uncomfortable to be huxtable. The fuse burning down and the vibe is combustible. The blues got me down, baby, I don't discuss it though. Black in America forever in hustle mode. Blacks killing blacks and it's no problem. 5-0, killing blacks and it's no charge. Ku Klux Klan back again like the home squad. Feel like the away team advantage is no odds. Some of us take a pill, some meditate and chill. Coping with the pain that America haters still. Some of us take a pill, some meditate and chill. Coping with the pain that America haters still. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Game of Thrones, it's the king's landing. Giving hell where the winter fell, then we swing cannons. With every moment passing and all of my distractions, feeling like the life I live is haunted by assassins. Spend a dark night under the heavens, enough to utter the question Am I alone or am I under protection? The king's iron throne, I alone flying home. Make them down on chrome, black palace, white castle to the sky. I roam, silent poems whispered in a samurai's dream. Granted, I seem battered by the battles I've seen. This is born, I music for sages through the unusual ages, and now they never. A question who is the greatest what is profit to a man who gained the world and lose his own soul fo fo where did chrome go then it's closed though after life there is the reincarnation king without a crown on some ichabod crane shit swore that i would rep it the thesaurus eyes confess it they don't really want peace they just polarize the message but what's the message all life is precious my team will represent it until all eyes respect it i can't breathe I can't breathe. I didn't want to spoil the fun. Ah, I forgot my key bindings. Ah, I messed up on the key bindings already, but you know what? It's because I'm nervous. We got a big guest. He's a wise man. Anytime I've talked to him, it's been me just sitting there like, oh, shit, okay. All right, keep going. It's always been in a green room, pre and post show. Uh, and you know what? I think now is a, a, a different kind of vibe. We might get a different kind of uh, beat and greet. You know, this, he's got an interesting perspective on life, interesting perspective on music. And, uh, you know, without further ado, let me get to it right now, okay? We got motherfucking born. Hey, hey you could see yourself, right? Yes. Hello, okay. world. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, how you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. How you doing, brother? I'm good. I'm, uh, you know, we're surviving, and uh, honored to have you on the show. You know, it's an honor to be here, bro. <laughs> well, where are you uh, broadcasting from? Well, I'm broadcasting from the Outer Banks in uh, North Carolina. Came down here to um to just try to do a little quarantine getaway with the family and some family friends and the kids and all that stuff so uh so it's been good although when you're down in north carolina the world is a little different the mask vibrations are a little different so uh so just dealing with that but in, in any case aside from that it's been awesome okay all right so how long you been down in north carolina uh this is day 
57. We've been here for a week. Okay. And uh, and uh, we leave tomorrow. Oh, nice. Damn. Man. Back to D.C. D.C., right? Yeah. Okay. All right. And, uh, dude, originally, originally when I was, like, searching you up today, you know, just to do some fact-checking and stuff, originally you come from Ghana? Yeah. Well, I'm a Ghanaian-American, so I'm a first-generation American. So my parents were born in Ghana. I was born here, but I grew up in a kind of in, – in an immigrant household. Yeah. Oh, shit. So what did – uh. What was their approach on or their their terms of uh, on your your music career and what they thought about all that? Well, you know, it, um, it's funny. We moved into our new house uh, my senior year in high school, and then I and my grandfather died like a month after we moved in, and so my mom had to go uh, to Ghana to bury him. And while he was there, I kind of made the decision. I said, "Mom, I'm going to do music full time," and. Um, and she said, uh, well, she, you know, I said, Mom, you know, I, I think I, I think I want to do music as like my way of life. And she said, and you will. You know, that was her immediate response. And you will. So like I've always I feel like my battery has always been powered by that immediate response from my mom. Just like, yeah, and you will. You know, and now, now my dad was a different story. <laughs> but that was also a benefit that I had to prove it. I think I went on tour to in Taiwan. And I was performing at this huge festival in Taiwan back in like the like a few years into my into my career as an artist. And like I I I showed the DVD at uh, Thanksgiving with like the family members who would have also been in cahoots with my dad, like looking down on me for being an artist. And they all saw me performing for like five thousand Chinese people. And they were like, ah, you know, well, it's like, uh, you know. This is my gun. This is my Ghanaian accent. Like, maybe, maybe, maybe there's something to this music dream after all. <laughs> so, um, so it took a while for my dad to really come around, but he did. So my parents are definitely big supporters. But, but my, but my dad definitely did not want me to become an artist. Want me to become same immigrant dream, doctor, lawyer, whatever. But, uh, yeah, that wasn't in the cards for me. Was that like a little bit of like a fire in your ass? Like kind of be like, all right, mom got me, but dad, I got to prove, I got to prove this shit to dad. Absolutely. If I didn't have my dad who with, with the ultimate parental skepticism about that, I definitely would not have gone as hard to prove that this is for real, you know? So that, that was a, that was a huge thing for me. I mean, we try, I try to support my kids in all of their endeavors just because I know that life is going to uh throw its own shit at you can i curse on this thing yeah, yeah, yeah but dude. like <laughs> life I mean. is gonna throw its own, you know its own uh fucked up curveballs at you but um yeah at that time for that time uh definitely my dad's resistance gave me something to work towards like i wanted to okay i won mom over that was easy but i gotta win dad over that's hard if i win dad over then i know that i'm onto something yeah, no, that's uh, you know, like it's it's kind of good. It's almost like you know I I had that a little bit with my brother too. You know, and, and my parents. I had to like, they're like, I don't know if you got fans, and I was like, No, mom, I'm serious. There's some shit going on right here, you know. Yeah. And then it had to like Will Smith posting a a little clip of my music in his Instagram. That was like a big thing oh, that to them, was cute. dude. And I mean, you know, it's just like a clip, and I knew the editor and stuff, but to them, it, it was like reaching family, friends, and stuff, and I was like, oh, okay, all right. As long as that helped them take it in a little bit better, you know? But the, the, it, 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 the world, I think, I, I think, I think when oh, Vibe magazine wrote, a, wrote an article about me back in the day, and then the, like my dad, you know, it's, it's like, it's like anything else. Like when your parents see that like legitimate sources view you as, you know, uh, as, 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 some, as, as worthy. Yeah. Then, then you start, they start to relax less. It's not that they don't think that you're worthy, but they're just worried whether or not you're gonna, you know, fuck your life up by going down this path. You yeah. Know? So not yeah. For real. I mean, it's, it's viable too, but you know, I think, uh, do you, do you think you're going to have, uh, uh, <laughs> you think you're going to like, um, you know, if your kids came to you and be like, I want to be a rapper or even something, what would you, what would you think is something that like, all right, maybe you wouldn't support them in? Is there, is there anything like that? Or, you know, being who you are as an artist, like, is it, is it just like, all right, I got to support them in whatever they do. Rapping I probably, is an easy I thing. I probably wouldn't support, I probably wouldn't support 
prostitution, meth dealer, murder for hire, um, um, you know, any 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 of those things that are kind of like that either have the potential. I, I probably wouldn't. I. I I probably would not. I, I, you know, as a parent, I don't think. I don't think it's. I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be cool with like. I want to be a sex worker. I'm not sh- shaming that. But as a parent, you. That's not what you would want for your. That's not what I would want for my parents. But that would. That. But like. But like, yeah, kind of. That's it. Like anything that could bring you like potential, uh, immediate harm, or that could immediately harm someone else. I wouldn't be about. Yeah. Like. I'm going to be a fucking hunter or some shit like that. Like, I just wouldn't be about that shit. But if you want to be a musician, I would be like, I would say then you have to do your best to be drug and alcohol free because that's, I mean, as much as, as much as I have not been, you know, I would make that, I would try to say that to my kids that like drugs and alcohol will, will very, will complicate this whole endeavor. So, um, relax on that shit for as long as you can, if not forever. And, um, um, sex is a big part of, you know, the, of, of the allure of artistry and you don't want to misuse that. You know, I'd give them some guidelines, but yeah. my kids wanted to be artists. I, who am I to stop them? I'm an artist. And my kids are artists already. My, yeah. my, 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 my second oldest has Spotify songs out. No way. <laughs> Didn't even have, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So what, what kind of, what kind of music? Um, it's like bedroom pop. Um, somebody. Okay. Anyway, I, I, I would ask them, but like it's like bedroom. <laughs> and um, and you want to say hi? I'm I'm on an interview right now. No, you want to lean in, peeking? Hey. <laughs> Don't have to. That's my seven year old. Yeah. No. 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 But my yeah my my uh, my second oldest. Uh, it's it's like bedroom pop and and uh, and breaks and like it's and with and like like um like sad like like sad kid ballads. <laughs> and uh that type of stuff uh, yeah no that's fire okay. and i mean hey that's uh whatever i mean i'm sure you get the question all the time what kind of music you make you might have more of a clear-cut distinguishable <laughs> line of like hey I, this is what i bring to the table of these things but you know we get asked all the time like what kind of music you make and it's i don't know sometimes i don't know man Do you, yeah like what what uh what kind of bridged the gap between the the hip-hop stuff and uh the edm coach that you're like really breaking into you know yeah yeah, it's it's uh I mean, so I always so one thing that people that that people who might just be getting to know me would not know is that I've always done hip hop and electronic music. At different stages in my career, it's been either the the scales have tipped either more to hip hop or more to EDM, but I've always done both. I started out doing raves as a drum and bass MC and hosting open mics as a as a hip hop MC. Yeah. And um and and I was and I've all and and it expanded out to house music, and expanded out to dubstep. And you know I've got I've got old uh, remix like 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 mixtape remixes that I was doing over Joker and Venga and Koki and shit like that. So like um, so I've been I've been always operating in these worlds because I've got this. I, what I realized by moving in the in in dubstep circles drum and bass circles house music circles hip-hop circles that everyone's like got this sort of suspicion or irrational idea about the other culture and all of us are the same like from a buddhist perspective we all want to be happy and we want to avoid suffering and from a music perspective it's the same shit like you know everybody wants to be happy and feel good and no one wants to feel shitty and we're all and 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 if you listen to different beats, you you get a different um, understanding of an approach to life. Like house music people, like just this that this that dance that you know you know, and then um, you know um, drum and bass people, you know, just 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 that 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 bop that. That, that that drum and bass bop you know that's that's one way of moving and then then dubstep people is you know just bam and yeah. then you know yeah and then hip-hop people c- could kind of be all of the above <laughs> <laughs> and, but it's like you learn different vibes and you sh- and i think that you should learn different vibes to understand humanity better and so that's my idea of unity through art and that's that's what i'm about that's part of 
that's part that's what bridges the gap between uh hip hop and electronic music to me yeah <laughs> no definitely and and i i like what you're doing even with the you know you mentioned buddhist too and it's you're doing the sound yeah. baths with the hip hop too oh, so true. It's like even not even just different styles of music, but like almost lifestyle. I mean, I guess that is a, a style of music, the the singing bowls and stuff like that. But, you know, you're you're blending a lot of different kind of grounds, too. So uh, I know we started off with the countdown with the, the singing bowls. But if you haven't checked that out, like go check it out on Facebook. I'm sure it won't be hard to find singing, singing uh, bowls, hip hop. Like what should they search for that, actually? Oh, just um, just you could look up. I, I I think I coined the term hip hop sound bath. Okay. So you should be able to just look that up. And um, but you should look. You could look up. Um, I can't breathe sound bath. Okay. Yeah, because it's a, it's a remix of my song I can't breathe. And um, uh, yeah. Well, that's one of the blessings of quarantine. Is like, I you know I'm a Buddhist practitioner, a mindfulness teacher, and a musician. And um and the um. And the sound bath idea has always been interesting to me, but I've always been moving around so much that I really couldn't either invest in the bowls and invest the time to, to work with them. But like being at home, um, at the at the beginning of quarantine when everybody when all the DJs couldn't tour, I got a good amount of vocal work uh, from people wanting to do new songs, and so I invested some of that uh, money into getting some singing bowls and. Um, and just starting to experiment with them. And I was like, can I rap over? So that's probably been the theme of my life is like, huh, can I rap over that? I hear cicadas uh, <laughs> chirping. Can I rap over that? Like, here's the, here's the buzz of a dragonfly. Can I rap over that? Like, this is fucking Beethoven seventh. Can I rap over that? Like, you know, so that I just, I'm always like, can I rap over it? So the singing bowls were just another uh, another uh, another exp extension or expression of that. <laughs> well, do you play any other instruments? Because it's I mean maybe it's not uh, as tough as I'm I'm making out to be in my head. Just but even keeping that rhythm is it is it the same as keeping like a flow? Is that what uh is it easy to keep that rhythm or is it just a flow state? You got to do it a couple times or what? Um, it's a it's it's so it's like if you catch yourself in the right vibe, right? Then you just do it. And then if you start thinking about it too much, then you'll start fucking up. Uh -huh. And that, that's like, um, um, in, 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 there's like a saying in Zen, like when you're walking up the stairs and not, and, and, and you're just walking up the stairs, there's no tripping. But the moment you think about whether you're going to take the next step the right way, you're probably, you'll, you're, you're, you're more likely to fall down the whole flight of stairs. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, yeah. it's like that. Like when I'm playing the bowls and I'm not really thinking about it, I'm just in the vibe. Like, like, like the video that you showed, that was like, I was just in it, you know, but there have been times where I've just been like, Oh gosh, I got to make sure that I'm perfectly on point. I got to be perfect. I got to be perfect. And then that's when it gets fucked up. <laughs> yeah. you, do you feel like a sort of correlation between what goes viral and those like floor, uh, flow states? You know, it, it, you think it has something to do with like that vibe that you emit and you're clearly you're putting a sense of your consciousness in that as weird as that sounds. Wow. I've never connected the two, but there is definitely a connection. That's why it's such a peculiar thing to go viral. The singing bowl things were my first experience of virality as an artist you know just people just like uh like just and really just or I, I didn't push it i didn't think that i didn't come in with the i did it for my private facebook group just for the born i family and people kept saying please make this public so then i did a public one and uh and then the public one just went off you know and, and uh but there is and i was in that vibe like i it was yeah, I just was in that flow state. You're right, man. I think, I think there there must be, there has to be, because when when when, of course, there's a you know there's this, what's viral right now is this woman who set that car on fire and it exploded in her face. I don't know if you saw that, no. but like that's 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 not necessarily flow state per se. That's just catching like a peculiar moment. But when an artist, I feel like, is in a vibe. And that vibe gets it, it, it is in what you what you called what you said flow state and that that gets captured. People are like, oh, I'm witnessing something kind of otherworld otherworldly, and it's special. And uh, I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, I, it's it's crazy because even some of my my like uh, one take kind of things have done the best. You know, the the quick videos or whatever the, whatever it is, even songs that I don't really even remember making, they'll do the best. But it's because yeah. I like didn't overthink it, like you said too. You you 
fall, uh, climbing up the stairs, you're gonna, you don't think about it. It's just like something that you remember doing. And the minute you do, you're just like, uh, uh and I mean, yeah. that's, that's most of my, my life, honestly. I feel like the, the second I overthink and I try to show somebody or show off, it's like, I freeze, you know? Yeah, the big theme in my life right now has been trust. Um, I've been listening to Alan Watts a lot, and he gave this talk about trust, like trusting the universe as if it was a person that you trusted. And he was like, you know, your whole life is based on trust. You trust that when you go to sleep, you'll wake up. You trust that when your heart, that your heart's gonna take the next beat. You trust that you are gonna be able to take the next breath. You trust that your circulatory system, your nervous system, your digestive system, your immune system are all gonna do their jobs so that you can continue to do videos with Brightside. You know, like that's like you, you, you live on this implicit trust and, but yet you have anxiety because there's some part of you that distrusts the big scheme of life. And like, you should extend the implicit trust that you have with, in, your, in your individual life <laughs> to the outside world. Yeah. You know, it might, it might be risky, but like that's what you, that's, that's, it makes for a more interesting and interconnected experience. So that's what I've been trying to do is just like, um, and then I don't know if this is directly connected to flow state or whatever, but I definitely have been just trying to like, you know, I just finished my album, my hip hop album. And it's, and it's like, after working on it, if I, if I count, like, if I count the, um, the, 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 the amount of times I've made at, at the, what was supposed to be the hip hop album, this is probably like the 15th iteration of it, Damn. but it's done now, you know what I'm saying? And so like. That could that could be terrifying. Like, well, what do I do now? But now I'm just like in this trust mode. Like, I just trust that what that my efforts are going to bear the fruit that I that I am that I that I pray for that I seek to manifest. But I'm not trying to manifest with a with a squeeze. I'm just trusting. Yeah, is it, you think that's kind of where, as a parent, like uh, you know, it's not like your dad doesn't believe in you. He just doesn't trust the system, you know, and like doesn't trust. Right. You know, like that you putting yourself out there might be granted with the, the open arms that, you know, he knows that you kind of deserve, you know, I mean, some parents, maybe not. They just don't want to they don't want to support it either way. But, you know, it's not like your dad didn't believe you. And it's just he doesn't trust the fucking system or some shit. And it's kind of I think I think that's absolutely right. You know, so I'm so uh, I'm, <laughs> I don't know why there's so many Buddhist parallels coming up to me now. But like um, but like so the story of the Buddha is like. He left his home to go out into the woods but and, and practice, but his father tried to prevent that the whole time. And somebody brought up, was like, it's not that his dad didn't want him to be a spiritual leader, it's that his dad didn't trust the fucking woods. He didn't try and he, he didn't trust that his son wouldn't be eaten by a tiger or that some somebody wouldn't take advantage of him. It's like your parents trust you, just not the system. And that's 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 a very good point, bro. Yeah, no, that's that's insane. I never heard that about booty either, man. I, I think I need to, you know, do some reading in uh, in quarantine. You know, <laughs> there was a there was a summer or two where it took a little bit too much acid, and you know, maybe got into the <laughs> the spiritual stuff. But it's been a while, you know. It's all it's all it's all it's all spiritual. Like the experience that people get from your music, you creating a moment like this. Where it's all about, to me, spirituality is about connection and understanding, you know, so you're doing that anyway. You don't have to, you don't have to add anything to it, you know, unless you, unless, unless you feel, it's all aesthetics. I like, look, my chains are Buddhist. I like the Buddhist, I like the aesthetics and then, and connection and, and depth and, and, and understanding reality more, but that doesn't have to have a name. That's just, you know, your journey. Yeah. <laughs> No, I like how you put it. It's all spiritual. You know, it's not like you don't have to, it doesn't have to be religion. I think that's the most important thing. It's religion. But lo, looking at your analytics today, dude, it was, it was crazy to see that the U S isn't even like the biggest place that you're, uh, you're streamed in. It's like, it's like fucking Amsterdam and Frankfurt, Germany and stuff like Los Angeles was number three or something. So the, the way you're talking about this, it's, it's almost like, a. uh, boundless kind of fucking you know there's no uh territory that it doesn't it doesn't hit but like it's just universal this music shit that you're putting out why, why do you why do you feel like you get so much plays like all, all these all these other places do you tour them or what's up um uh, you, you so no i haven't toured i haven't toured europe yet you know um i i so a part of it i think is Actually, 
the most honest words I can say is I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, but I could speculate um, and, and, and that, you know, I, I make... Well, no, I don't know. I guess I, I guess I make shit that people like in those parts of the world. And but but I don't make music. I know that I make music that tries to expand the expands uh, sound signatures beyond uh, basic territory. Like I, I usually want. When it's my so I have an album out right now with Tanka called Eleven Eleven. It's rolling out like single by single on Tribal Trap, and like I, the sounds on that project are, it's like a mix of like trap of like EDM trap and 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 hip hop and and uh, and trap hip hop and then Middle Eastern, um, Asian and um, um, yeah probably and African sounds. You know, all all woven together. So there is a there is a world world not world music, but there's like a multi multicultural vibe to the to the to the stuff that I personally put out. And then the collabs I'm on, like I think people around the world just love the artists that I work with. You know, people like Bro Hug and Jessica Autofred, yourself, uh, Lucid, etc. Um, you know, there's a bunch spag, of there's a, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, I think uh, I think those the combination of my artistic palette and the artists I get to work with uh, sort of expand the expand the scope. And how long has this been going on for? Like, how long has the Born Eye tr uh, project been? Is it been this your entire career? Has it been Born Eye, or has it changed? Had it been multi-faced, or what's up? Oh, oh man, <laughs> <laughs> depends on when you date it from. You could date it from when I was six, and my first rap name was MC OJ. Uh, <laughs> here's my first rap: MC OJ on the microphone. I'm rapping on the mic, not to be home alone. I got a lot of money. The Japanese call it yen. The name is OJ, and the age is ten. That's my first rap ever. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, we got you in the booth. We recorded that one. <laughs> 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 that's what I saw myself I was like I'm in the studio now <laughs> yeah um, uh, it's been going on for quite a while but the, but uh, I would say that I was I was so the I is for infinite so I was known as born infinite for a long time oh, sure. and then when I and I was in a group called Shambhala or Shambhala for a long time and then I went solo in 2010 and um, uh, and so I was born I music for a while and now and then I shortened it just a year or so ago just to born I. So the born so the solo project has been going on for ten years, born I music slash born I, but like the rebrand and like what I'm doing now stuff, the born I project, that's that's a that's about a year old. Damn. Oh wow. Well, you've been making fucking uh like a crazy name for yourself. I mean like that's I would say I noticed it uh, like Probably around then too. I don't know when that show was that we played with um, with Janston. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out at uh, at um, um, Baltimore Soundstage. Oh, yeah, yep. yeah. Probably like two, maybe almost two years ago. Probably I don't know. Maybe a year and a half ago. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh damn! Someone remembers Shambhala from back in the day. Yeah, that's like a long time ago. <laughs> so you guys got music out there. It's a. Uh, oh, do I have sand on my face? Oh shit! I was on. I was at the beach. Um. <laughs> hey, buddy. Do you want to come and say hi? I'm, I'm having an interview right now. You want to say hi? Come, come, come. No? That's fine. Um, for two for two. Um, we, 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 yeah, there's an album out called The Lotus Of, Shambhala, The Lotus Of. I don't, I don't, I don't see no money from the album. Some, some, some like creditor probably bought up the old distributor and just, and owns the catalog. One day I'll stick my lawyers on it, but it's not a priority. <laughs> yeah. But it's out there. It's beautiful music. Yeah. So who else were you, um, were you working with? Was it it's just one other person. His name was Agua. Yeah. Oh, nice. it, was just, okay. it was Born Infinite in Agua as Shambhala. Mm -hmm. And we have one album called The Lotus Of, and it's like some real fucking underground, like, e e Eastern philosophy, hip-hop, lyrical shit. But it's dope. Real dope. Yeah. Did uh, did he produce it, or did you guys just outsource beats? We worked with a bunch of different producers, oh, nice. yeah. No, yeah. Man, that's dope, man. We're still following that same, uh, same suit, bro, and just fucking... Working with yeah. everybody under the sun over here, dude. Sure. <laughs> you uh, you like that? It's uh, you finally got the like the more of a hip hop project out. You think it's like uh, 
you think you're kind of like separating the two or is um you know is it is it good to like have a distinguished like oh this is my hip hop album and these were just singles that I worked on with a bunch of different artists like or are they both yeah. just important parts of you they're important parts of me both um but but one part of you it's 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 like if you if you if you practice martial arts or or and and you've just been doing one martial say you like brazilian jiu jitsu and muay thai but you've only been doing muay thai for 5 years and and you know and you really want to fucking do some grappling and shit you you know just like damn it's fucking time to do some jiu jitsu you know yeah. so it's 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 like that for me it's like i uh my 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 former manager tom dern rest in peace um we had this vision to um make do something historic in electronic music as a vocalist yeah i don't know babe um oh i think maybe mommy went right to the store i'll be right back i'll be right i'll be done or you can sit with me okay Parental duties, man. Parental duties. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the granola bar work. The family man. Um, love to see it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, we were talking about... Um, oh, the hip-hop project. project. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's just like that for me is that like what, what Tom Tom's vision was like, yo, let's do something that hasn't been done before as a vocalist. And and I think that when I, when I put out records on... When I put out solo, like Born Eye records as a vocalist on Firepower and on um, on Circus and and on on a Boogie's label, what's Boogie's label? Um, um, Drama Club yeah, yeah. and uh, and stuff like that. Like no 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 rapper has ever done that before, you know. So yeah. I really I feel I feel I feel very much mission accomplished as far as like doing the historic things as a rapper in electronic music. And now I'm really interested on the EDM side of just working with people that I love to work with and, um, and making big records with, with my friends and with, you know, new, if, if they're new artists and they're, and you know, it's exciting that I'm down. But the, for a while I was just doing anything that came across the desk just to do it by volume. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so like, I, I, and um, so I, I definitely have chilled on that got to do a, a semi solo trap album with this produced exclusively by Tanka just to kind of bridge the gap a little bit and um yeah but like the other thing about EDM I was just talking about this with my wife is that the, the vocalist even though the vocalist is integral the vocalist is usually not respected um to the highest level of as the DJ yeah. and uh, as a producer the vocalist is always and 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 I think that there's this stigma about vocalists in EDM that's um it's got a little racist back to it like you know we made this so you know well, it's not even like we made this it's just like we have this culture so that you know so that we have to deal with these rap niggas you know what I'm saying like that's what that's what that's how I feel it sometimes and then uh and then I've been in certain circles where you just feel this the microaggressions like who let the black guy in you know say until I get on the mic and it's like oh we love you but like there's always this you know you just have to you perpetually in my electronic music career bumping up against this sort of like attitude about and so the vocalist so as much as i've done historic shit in edm to be for those for my lyrics to be acknowledged the way that i think they deserve to be acknowledged like a hip-hop project is the is the is the is the way to kind of lay lay that lay that gavel down <laughs> oh, that's, yo honestly that was that was a fucking I, I had like three different questions that spawned from it but like you ending it like there honestly is is crazy because uh like first off i do think yeah you you like going on drama club releasing your own songs not as a featured artist not as anything like dude that's fucking that's monumental i think that's some of the things that are coming out now against some of these these big name artists like oh we got the butt end of the stick and unfortunately that seems like it's been the music industry for a very long time it's like yeah. rappers and 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 uh you know uh vocalists in general just get the butt end of the stick but for you to be like so like honestly maybe it was the volume you put out you did so much of it you you were just like the name for edm like collabs in that way too you know yeah. like uh 
I don't know. I think you did break through the mold by doing some of that stuff. And maybe maybe it's you just being the person you are, like being, uh, you know, not afraid to ask what you deserve. But like, yeah. you know, a lot of these people do just get a feature on, you know, and then and then no one hears from them again. But you've become like a like a facet in this niche, you know, at least. And, uh, you know, uh, the, the hip hop shit, I'm, I'm excited to like just check it out, too, because you're yeah. your tune blue like uh, yeah. I, that's pretty old, right? That's like a yeah, it's about uh, five or six years old. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, I just, I just, you know, re-upped on it again. Uh, I guess when you shared it two or three days ago, and I'm like, damn, yeah. this dude, he paints like that picture, you know. So that the hip hop side of it, I think we all need besides the the eight to sixteen bar vocalist <laughs> feature that everyone gets pre-drop, you know. Yeah, that pre-drop, yeah. <laughs> and um and yeah, shout out, shout out to all, shout out to the excellent vocalists that are out there people like rico act mime um people like mimi page people uh like drama b um uh people like armani rain messinian um you know there are a lot of legendary vocalists out there I, I, and and um oh gosh i know i'm forgetting people but um but yeah but yeah i just want to shout them out P uh, uh, um patricia portillo on the uh, on the opera side like getting into um dubstep and shit like you know so yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of amazing vocalists out there and i i i want i want the edm community and the vocalist community to just to to find a way where it where the contributions feel mutual and they don't and they and at least the contracts are not exploitive you know what I'm saying like yeah. you know it's like if you're gonna put me on a feature and then I'm not even gonna get the Spotify credit and then you're only gonna pay me like work for hire or some shit and then like and and you know and I and I don't get any royalties or I, you know that people do shit like that and it's like yeah. it's not cool you know I yeah. when I get when I get money I, I I spend that shit on my friends you know like that's <laughs> that's I feel like you know that's how it should be in the industry yeah especially the contributing factors to some of your success too is like it's mostly these people you know. And, uh, you know, the, that that flow state, those those even if it's eight, 16 bars, man, that's usually what gets people like, oh, I love this song. It's because those like those yeah. lyrics mean a lot, you know. And, uh, dude, you do like even listening back to our collab, I, I just put a, like a mock master on that brain rack. Uh, oh, man. I born I collab. Yeah. And just listen to some of those. About, I, was about, I was thinking about adding another verse to that. I was actually going to do it while I was down here. But I was just like, man, vacation vibes. Let me chill. <laughs> But um, yeah, I was thinking about just sending you guys like an alt verse just in case, cause uh, just in case you want, just in case. So yeah, so Yo, in the, in the next couple of days, I'm gonna send you something. Yeah, no, yeah <laughs> even I'm still noticing new things. I'm like, wait, wait. He says, "Bright side, brain rack, born eye with the love." Oh shit. Okay, all right. And then I'm like, slept on like a mattress, you know? Like I'm like, oh man, there's a, there's a lot of things in this one that I'm like, it's pretty fire. But uh, he did send me it back. It's got like a new facelift. So maybe the original one will have like a VIP or something, but uh, I don't know. I like the yeah, tune regardless, sure. wherever it goes. Me too. Me too. I I love your production. I love what you what you do, man. I love the way that you interact with your fans. And uh, yeah, you're 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 unique, man. I mean, this whole this whole setup right here is super <laughs> unique. But just yeah, that this this speaks to your unique approach to. Um, you know, when we say entertaining, it can get kind of loop, lumped into all these other ideas, but really it's about making people feel good, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and, um, and, 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 you know, not trying to get, um, corny or anything like that, but like, it's healing to have, uh, an artist that you like go out of their way to make a platform like this to do, you know, saying to like, here's more of what I can give you to, to be happy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. And you, yeah. you're doing that even with the the show. The, I, it was one of the last shows we did in uh, at the, at Baltimore Eight by Ten, and like you, Eight by Ten, yeah, the eight, I love that spot, yo. Shout out to Eight by Ten, shout out Baltimore. Um, yeah, but yeah, they you brought out some dancers. You had a mask, like you're bringing a lot of a lot more than just uh, you know you showing up with the mic too. So I think you're providing a few different levels of people to. Uh, experience that on you know whether it be the the sound bowls or the fucking uh you know a couple verses on some edm tracks or a whole hip-hop album you know like is there is there a meaning to the mask and the the live experience as well or 
Sure, sure, sure. I just, I always felt like the live experience should be, um, should be, so the hip hop artists that I really respected always went over the top with their live experience, you know, and, and, and then so do the EDM artists that I love with terms of visuals and, and, um, and whether there's just more theatrics. So I always felt like having more than just me up there rapping gave the audience, um, uh, a higher level of experience. The mask is is uh, designed by a guy named Dan Schaub, and you know what's funny? Today, I just truly understood why I wear the mask. Like, I've been asking myself, like, because if it was just like, oh, I just want to look cool or mysterious, then I, I don't think I could stand behind it, con continue to stand behind it. Because I'm about to get a second phase of the mask, I'm about to get mask part two, and, um, and, and, um, and so I really had to keep asking myself, like, what the fuck is it about? You know, what drew you to it? And the mask is triangular and circular. And it's about stepping aside from duality and understanding that life is not black or white. But like there's more than that. There's uh, the, the power of the Trinity, of the concept of the Trinity, which is just the power of non-duality and the power of the circle, which is just like the cyclical flow of experience. Um you know, these two things superimposed on each other, the triangle and the circle, you know, um, are, um, are, are expressions of going beyond dual, dual notions of good and bad, right and wrong, alive and dead and all that stuff. Like we're all somewhere in the third prism of it or in the circle of it, like, you know, and so, and so it the, 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 it also has three eyes and it has three eyes all over the place. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> and um, um, and yeah. So it's like the avatar of non-duality. That's uh, that's 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 what it is for me. So you've been uh, you've been kind of into like superheroes in a way in a little bit right now, right? Is this kind of like a, a a you version of a superhero or? <laughs> oh, it it could be. But uh, I just uh, but yeah, thanks for asking. So I've been on. So I've been reading this Batman versus Deathstroke, and uh, it's a cool, pretty cool uh, graphic novel or whatever. And um, um, I, I'm a big Batman fan today. Today, for some reason, on Twitter, they were thanking uh, Ben Affleck for Batfleck, and <laughs> uh, thank you, Ben Affleck. You did do a fucking rocking ass. Uh, Batman when I thought that you were going to destroy it well, people care about Batman but he did awesome and um, I got Batman here on my computer or whatever yeah so uh, I think the idea maybe maybe you know there's probably something to it like the mask and, and being connected to like because in African traditions masks aren't like you don't put on a mask to hide you put on the mask to embody something new so you put on the mask to um, kind of reveal to reveal a new uh, a new expression. So that's really what the mask is for me. It's like a revelation of a new expression. Oh wow. Okay. So is is two point like the same kind of thing? Does it mean something new, or is it just uh, is it just an, a better upgraded version of what you had? Two point is the same model, but it's black and gold. Whereas this one was just unfinished wood. And um, and I think and I think the and I think so two point is is like really like getting more deep and more nuanced into the structure of the. Uh, of the mask and, and the whole concept and that's going to and 2.0 is going to be the the uh the sidekick or the the uh the the additional narrator of this new hip-hop journey yeah oh shit okay damn all mm -hmm. right so it just happened to have something to do with i mean uh happened to happen at the same time as the the you going into the superhero thing it's just kind of like a new revelation of a new uh yeah yeah, yeah, I mean, I've always been a superhero person. I've always been a, a Batman. Per I've always been a comics and cartoons person. And and I, but I think I hadn't really thought about. I hadn't really thought about it in depth. That like when I put on the mask, like I become like this other entity, you know. And and uh, um, yeah, it is. It, it it it. So I definitely feel like it's probably connected for sure. All right. Yeah. <laughs> No, I didn't know that. I thought it was uh, I thought it was a new thing, this superhero uh, obsession too. But no, it's uh... oh no no no. That's a that's a that's a that's that's how I deal with fucking PTSD. <laughs> it's oh, just man. Batman. Yeah. Hey, dude. Well, shout out Batman, man.
<laughs> Shout out Batman. You you have any uh, plans on me, like you know doing something visual like that with your uh, with your project? Because Sokka just came through and he had like a whole like co- comic book anime style, and I was like, oh shit, this is next level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an animated video, a digitally animated video that features the mask and like some more stuff that um, uh, that my boy Alex Ferraro put together. Um, that we're we're still finishing that up. That's just like for a one-off single. And what I would like to do is, um, I have been wanting to do either a uh, a short graphic novel uh, or some kind of like web series that accompanies the project. So. I had to kind of get the project done. So the name of the the name of my hip hop album is In This Moment. And so we're just figuring out like the right situation for it right now, but I had to get it done. And uh, and now I'm gonna start thinking about the visual piece of it. Yeah, for sure. Oh shit, man. Well, that's cool. I kind of just stumbled into that question too. And we luckily had, uh, you had a fucking <laughs> yeah, dope yeah, ass no, answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what else you got coming up? Is that is that pretty much what, um you know, like the, the, the main focus is on? Or you released a lot of shit this month too? I did, I did. I released a ton of shit this month. I um, uh, let me see if I can remember it all. I released um, the. I think I at, at the very start of the month. I yeah okay. So this at the beginning of the month, I dropped a record with Jessica Autofred on Circus called "The Game." As with Jessica Autofred and Point Blank, and that that's doing really well. People love that song. I also dropped a song called, uh, I also featured on a song called Whiplash with Heritage on Cannibalin. Um, I did a song, on, a, a drum and bass record with uh, Rebel Scum on Play Me Records. And, um, and I also, oh, my, my, the sound bath version of, I, of, of the East Forest, re, East Forest is like a spiritual electronic music artist. He remixed. I can't breathe, and that came out um, a few days ago. And then my single um, "Tempest" with Tanka from the Eleven Eleven album came out. Um, and then, and then on the 29th of this month, I have a song called "Dragonfly" that's dropping. And then on August 5th. A song called Firefly is uh, again with Patricia Portillo. Is that's dropping? Fi- Dra- Dragonfly is with my boy Real War, and um, um, Firefly is with Patricia, and that and that'll be the end of the the end of the of the of the flood that has that has been going on from February to August. <laughs> Every month has been like at least three to five records. So insane. That's a lot too. When especially when everybody is um, like slowing down or like, I mean, you know, rightfully so. Everyone's a little bit less motivated to release some stuff and whatnot. But you know, uh, hey, that's that's crazy, man. To keep putting it out there, I feel like you know it, it's only going to help in in right now too. With, with a couple months ago, three, four, even five months ago, it was just so hard to cut through like. Uh, what everyone was doing there was just a, so much stuff coming out and now yeah. it might just be easy if you release something you got everyone's attention almost you know and yeah uh, yeah uh, the 15th and reiteration all, yeah and it's also like your people get to decide you get to you, you you know the people who are really in your corner they 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 stay in your corner and even if you're just talking to them you know, that's, that's good for right now. And, uh, and, and they'll be in your, they'll continue to be in your corner as you expand. So, um, some of my, some of my songs are just kind of like, just some of the independently released ones right now are just like, kind of like for the Born Eye family really. And then the bigger ones that come out on bigger labels, they just expand the, expand the reach, expand the following. And then we, we bring it all back home. Yes, sir, man. No, that's, that's what's important. You know, I think that's, that strong foundation is definitely something that you've uh, you've done like a really good job at. Not a short amount of time, because uh, you know I think it all it's all like a culmination of your whole life's work. You know, like right now and who you are as an artist. But for the one year that I guess Born Eye has been the official, you know, officially branded Born Eye, like that's a fucking yeah. monumental, uh, you know, just <laughs> stake in your ground. You know, it's uh, it's been yeah. fucking huge, man. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I appreciate it, man. You. I, it's 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 I it's actually 
very much appreciated that you that well because I really respect you and I really respect your music and 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 and, uh, and I and I am uh, honored to be a friend of yours. Um, but I, I it's like uh, you you when you work, you're just like, is this shit gonna fucking work? You know, <laughs> you know, and and um, so to see that it start that that like yeah man, it actually it's actually working out is um. Uh, something to be grateful for and it's and, and i appreciate you saying as much of course man like it's uh it's it's dope to even have crossed uh you know these these paths with you you know like uh i know you're gonna be doing i don't even know what what, what like that's what's interesting about a lot of these people um that i'm, I'm putting on this at this show and and that i've gotten to meet and uh you know held dear to my heart because it's like i don't know where their their movements going and i think that's exciting when you're part of like somebody's uh trajectory and you 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 don't know what you're getting in for and it's you know some it's good bad and ugly sometimes but it's uh i fucking i appreciate all of it you know so the visual yeah. stuff i'm excited for all this all this is uh you know big news man i'm looking forward to yeah, yeah. hip-hop stuff too yeah i'm excited i'm excited about all of it and 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 there's definitely um yeah, there's there's a lot of unreleased electronic stuff that is uh, uh, that's waiting in the wings too. So it's so it's gonna be a fun s continued summer and into the fall and uh, and it's uh, it's really it's I've waited a long time to do this hip hop project and to get it right, you know. And I feel like I got it really right. Like I feel really good about it. So I'm I'm just gonna enjoy the and and trust the process as it unfolds. Hey. Dude, well, hell yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to fucking uh, to to hearing it, seeing it, and you know, like maybe we could even do do this once or twice again too, man. Because you will, like every every time I fucking ran into you, it's been uh it's been crazy good conversations too. It's been you know oh. up late at night too. You got me, you know, <laughs> normally five o'clock. You know, everyone's I'm just like I'm ready to go to bed, but I could I could fucking listen to you talk, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> once we hit that hour, you know, I'm talking. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit man yeah. um well yo uh, we got like we usually do a little bit of like beat and greets viewer submissions on fridays but um you know that's been with producers so you're actually the first you know outside kind of um look at some of these beats i don't know if you want to take a take a listen to some of these or you you gotta go i know you, you're a fucking family man you've been I, I i am a family man but let's take a listen to some to, to a couple's people took time to send some stuff in yeah. let's take a listen i'm gonna walk off for a second and 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 honestly take a shot and then uh and 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 then let's 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 do it so hey, man, you just collect uh, yourself do take as much time as you want i'll brief these guys hey, and I'll, uh yeah I, dude thank you thank you so much man <laughs> Yeah, that, that, this is a great interview, man. Thank you, bro. Of course. Um, all right, so he's. I'm surprised we even got him for an hour sitting down. Um, and to be honest, I didn't think we were gonna do the music portion of this. Um, him being, you know, a rapper, and I don't know what kind of. You know, like it, it might be weird asking somebody to critique music. Or ask for feedback, you know, if that's, if that's, but he's, hey, his credentials are there, all right? The man's fucking credentials are there, so he knows music, whether it's from a production feedback standpoint or just personal taste, and uh, I think what we can do right now is go through a couple rap. Does anybody have, like, rap tunes that... Like a, or or vocal to hip hop tunes or like like Kyle Goldstein I saw submitted his tunes, um, I'm dumb hyped to get into that. That I'm looking for stuff like that, you know, and tomorrow, to make up for, uh, you know, a little bit shorter of an episode, will Black Carl is coming on, so he 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 couldn't come on Monday through Friday anyway, so it works out perfectly. If you guys want to send in your electronic tracks. You can song. definitely send in the dubstep records. I be I just I'm a I'm a dubstep artist too. You dude, can send in whatever. Dude. For real. No, so. I said you got you got your credentials. They're there, man. Like I whatever you guys want to do. I didn't want to hold you up for too long. That's why. So I just Not wanted cool, to. Man. Let's I, let's do like let's do like two or three. Let's listen to two or three, and then and then I'll I'll go see yeah. what what else needed around the house. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what the kids have gotten into, bro. 
Yeah. Who knows, sure. man? They could have cooked up another uh, Spotify banger when you weren't looking. You know bro. It's entirely possible, man. <laughs> well, you know what? I, uh, I recorded. I recorded that song I did for y'all in um in my second oldest kid's room, in no their way. studio. Yeah, and oh, they, they were my engineer. Wow. Right? <laughs> dude well he did a fucking or he she did a fine job i don't know you know dude that was uh those those vocals came out perfect man what, what kind they, of setup yeah, they got I, I appreciate it i appreciate it all right cool let's listen to some new shit who got what all right so um i'll start off with uh we got motherfucking sketchy pete up in here oh sketchy pete come on man that's the let's listen to this shit bro Um, can you actually hear this or do I gotta send you the link to this? Uh, wait, let's see. Let get to the part. Are you oh, no. oh, no, I can't. Yeah, I can, I, I can, I can, I, I can hear it a little bit more. Okay. Better now? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, I'm going to run it back. We got Sketchy Pete up right. first. Let's go. Sketchy P. Let's go. <laughs> Pete. Yo, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Did that sh- hey, sk- Peter Nguyen, boy, that shit was fucking banging. <laughs> Damn. Let's go. Yo, what you, what, yo, that, that's like, that's some hybrid shit right there, too. Oh, sorry. Hey, I'm interviewing you. All right, there? Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that was amazing. That was really cool. I think it's time for a sketchy. P- it's, it's been a sketchy P and Born Eye collab has been way overdue, but hey. you know you gotta get paid before you can start doing songs with the homies. For, <laughs> you for know real. what I'm saying? No, I know yeah, what you're saying. Yeah, that was that that was hard as a bitch. Damn, sketch. Sketchy man, and he uh, you know, he sent us some shit in last week that uh. I think he sent us a whole EP, and we picked one of them that he didn't want us to pick, but we listened to it anyway, and it was like a little. He was rapping on it, I think, and it was. Sketch, uh, dude. Yeah, man. He uh, he's been killing it. So sketch. I don't know if it's an EP that you got cooking up or what, but let's go representing the DMV, baby. Yeah, representing the DMV and representing producers of color. I'm fucking with all that shit. Let's That's go. right, Sketchy Pete. Let's go. 
Um, okay, so we got Kyle Goldstein and maybe a uh, not low and elevate, if that's cool. Yeah. Two if more. you want a technical thing about the, I just thought the drop was visionary on there. I didn't think I, it was completely unexpected. I love the use of Easy E's vocals. I love the way that the build is not predictable. That it just that the verse stops, the beat breathes, and then the build begins, and then it just goes into this like, like, um, like half rock like hybrid trap dubstep drop like it's not e i don't even know what the fuck to call that drop but it was amazing so so bam that's my that's my those are my technical points on that one dude all right yo hell yeah man uh there was maybe you know a little bit of um uh mixing like in the beginning someone said it could be louder but i was just waiting for it to hit the the thing because at the drop it didn't need to be turned up at all you know so maybe in the beginning it just needed a little bit more uh gaining or compressing or whatever but dude that's that's a mixed down problem that's that's nothing major the vibe was yeah yeah. i i I go by the philosophy that music is a feeling so it's like if i feel it great (laughs) that's you know there you we all we all know there are terribly mixed records that are bangers as fuck you know so just just depends yeah yeah every time (laughs) i try to play that uh the hip-hop um what dead presidents or uh yeah bigger than hip-hop oh yeah it and it's just it's mixed the original song is mixed so bad but the vibe it gets oh, everybody God. vibed oh it's it's really it's that's yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah um all right so let's go all right all right dem check is here too and then we got not low and nice. Al gold scene is how we'll finish it off um okay so you can hear this now yep. let's go You know, I could just say maybe it just needs a little bit more room to breathe a little bit. You know, it's two or whatever this is, three, 25 seconds. It starts with the the, dr- the drop kind of, and then it pretty much goes the whole time. You could see it that there's, I mean, it's mixed nicely. It's a fucking nice fat brick. Yeah. Mixed <laughs> nicely. 
but maybe just a little room to breathe that helps you know just some tension here and there in, in songs you know and a, or a build up or drop or something like that you know um even just I'm letting the drums or something go oh sorry oh no, no no my bad my bad i thought you were i thought you were done no please hey no be, all you man i thought take the mic take the mic okay okay yeah 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 so <laughs> you know it's like I just uh, I I performed I performed with uh, Lucid and Lucid did my live stream but oh we didn't even talk about that my live stream concert Born I Presents the second iteration of that is happening uh, August seventh uh, on WTS that sounds Twitch and Brightside is one of the headliners as well as Figure and um, uh, and we have a, and uh, um, I think we have Mimi Page on there and a few other a few other oh, dope artists so shit. Um, wow, yeah this is news to me too so surprise face yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Brightside Figure and Mimi Page are the headliner, and myself are the headliners. And then we got uh, uh, AD and my boy TK Kavi. It's, it's going to be a very dope, dope event. But um, that said, it had me thinking about Lucid and the Wakan kids and like the Liquid Stranger folks, and just like, you know, just spread out freeform bass. And I fuck with that shit. And uh, it's a, it's to me, it feels avant garde and experimental. And, um, and uh, and yeah, I'm um, sometimes when I'm like, OK, can I? Can, yeah, I, I, I look for the same thing, like give the track a little space to breathe. But then there are some people who are like, no, I purposefully don't want anyone to breathe this whole fucking. Tr-. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm, and if that's your if that's your goal, I respect it. But if 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 there is room to breathe and and you just didn't see it then put it in <laughs> sure no dude that's a good that's a good uh good point too man cuz it could just be a balls to the walls 2 minutes yeah. you know and people love that shit live it's it, it yeah the that's how i saw it yeah yeah that hey dude that's a fresh ass perspective so thank you bro <laughs> no uh, doubt. i'm over here like oh fucking make it breathe he's like nah keep it it could just be like man i i will break them <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, that's cool too, bro. As soon as we get back to live shows, that's gonna be what we're all fiending for too, you know. Oh my god, do you know how crazy live shows are gonna be? <laughs> Dude. Oh my People god. People are gonna go fucking ape shit in live shows going Dude. forward, bro. I seen something about uh some hotels booking like a forward facing concert, you know, so they'd have them at like everyone books a patio room or something, and I'm like, that doesn't look good because of how hard people are going over the rail right now, you know, like all it takes is one spunion, though, you know? Oh, Dude. <laughs> say a spunion? <laughs> I never heard that shit before, a spunion? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that is amazing. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to tell my wife that shit. A spunion? Yes, oh, sir. my God. My yeah, God. all it takes is one. Launched off the fifth floor is a wrap. Dude. No more raves anywhere. That's it. No more uh, balcony raves, dude. They ruined it for oh. everybody. The Spunions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. So we got. Oh uh, man, okay, what we got next? You got. We had Kyle, somebody or other. Yeah, we got uh, Notlo, who's just in here, and then Kyle, and we could end it off on that. Yeah, if, uh, that's, that's, that's cool with you, man. I'll, I'll ride out with you. This is some deep dub shit right here too. So uh, yeah, I think I think you'll like this. Notlo in here. Let's go.
Does this kid make more shit like this? Hey, yeah. fuck, hey, not low. Not low. Hey, she's I'm a, trying to fucking a, work with this kid. Hey, no, What's hey, up? She's she's one of the baddest chicks in the industry too, man. She's she's got the best vibes. She's uh she's just like Do I know, do I know her? Like I don't know, man. Hey, uh, not low. I'm trying to fucking do I'm trying to do like three joints. Like what the fuck? That <laughs> shit was incredible. Yeah, yo. yo I, I checked that out beforehand. I was like, I was kind of scoping out the the submissions, being like, who, like, is it gonna be a hip hop vibe? I don't know what we're expecting, you know. And vibe. I heard that one. I'm like, I think maybe he'll want to jump on this shit, bro. So I <laughs> absolutely want to jump on that shit. Hey, um, fucking not low. Somebody make sure she gets my information or some shit like that. I'm fucking. <laughs> Yo, DM me on Instagram at Born Eye Music. Some shit. That shit was fucking. I want to see. Well, I want to see. I'm trying to hear a lot. I'm trying to hear more shit. Yeah. That was dope. Yeah, she Damn. was on maybe two weeks ago too, sitting right where you're sitting in the studio. You know, so uh, uh, dude, she she uh, crushes it. Got that real deep, dark, dangerous sound on lockdown. And uh, that's popping right now, bro. I'm, I'm for me. That's like that's vibes. Like if you listen to my trap project, it's just like those vibes. But that's even deeper in the in the temple. Yeah. That's some deep temple shit right there, but it, it's like spiritual and dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. some. Go that's person some, with the mask vibe. Fuck yeah! It would be all mask all the time on that shit. <laughs> yo, I'm not even. I'm not even bullshitting. Yo, that shit was lit. Let's go. I'm really glad I stuck around because I think something's gonna happen. Not <laughs> low. Get in contact with me. Let's make that happen. Let's go. All right. We love right. to see it. Yo, yo, Keith, Keith, I'm trying to hear this last one. All right. Let's go. Um, all right. Kyle Goldstein. Kyle Goldstein. You you want the one produced by, yeah, Honeycomb. Let's go with the Honeycomb production. You know Honeycomb, oh, no. right? Yeah. Yeah, I know Honeycomb. I'm in, I'm in a group chat with him and 12th and a bunch of people. Hey, Shout out hey. Honeycomb. Shout out okay. Honeycomb. All right. He produced this one for Kyle. That, this is uh, going to be probably our most hip hop one of the night. Kyle's a good friend. He's fucking makes some dope music. So how are you? Sometimes they need to go. Shit 
was all good just a week ago. Shit was all good just a week ago. Shit was yeah. all good. Shit was all good. Run for no yeah. reason, don't show no more demons. So defeated, no place for those feelings. I don't need it, but they lurking in the shadows. These shallow waters go deeper. Entrenched in this trench, do you wanna follow the leader? Nah, this isn't just rap. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than mansions. It's bigger than blacks. Bigger than stacks. Yeah. Shout out the 3K though. I'm trapped in. I do not wanna stay though. But if you say so, I'll make home in discomfort. Build my palace and self doubt. Make anxiety all my covers in. These dull doldrums I succumb to. Waiting for this pain like you'll come through. The crib's unlocked. Yeah. Take whatever's left that I got. Yeah. Whatever's left that I got. Uh, yeah. Whatever's left that I got. Hey. Sometimes they need to go Shit was all good just a week ago Shit was all good just a week ago Shit was all good, shit was all good Waves coming sometimes they need to go Shit was all good just a week ago Shit was all good just a week ago Shit was all good, shit was all good Thank you boss man, Kyle Yo, what's that? Was Kyle, was Kyle the one rapping or what was that? Yes sir, yeah, Honeycomb produced really? that beat Yeah, Kyle's the and, one rapping Wow, yo, that kid's fucking talented as hell bro yes, sir. I'm I'm real glad I stayed around uh, for all these, man. Yo, every guest you had was lit as fuck, yo. Big shout out Sketchy P. Shout out what's his name? Debt, 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 debt. Demcheck. Demcheck, yo. Demcheck. I fuck with Demcheck's logo too, as well as like the balls oh, to the yeah. wall, fucking stupid, it, you know, um, crawling fucking base, uh, yes, the danger room shit, and then um, and then fucking. N not low first of all that's a fucking whole nother conversation dude i i really need to see what's good with her yo like that's some that's some very inspiring shit right there but then this fucking um kyle goldstein that's the name yeah yes sir that's fucking that shit is so dope that's cool. like i mean as far as i mean from some, on some rap shit in terms of the way that rap has become a melodic expression like this kid really took it there, and then he, that whole thing, like like inviting the fucking in, the some about anxiety, and then, then opening the door and inviting him to come in. That's those are bars. Those are like big. Those are big, big, big person bars. Those are not them's not no fucking childish bars, yo. <laughs> so, yo, so so shout out, man. Yeah, no, I mean, dude, thank you for uh for listening to these two men, inspiring some people to maybe send some shit that they wouldn't have sent, you know, and. Uh, okay. For gassing up not low too because she's uh she's definitely one of my favorite if not my favorite i don't mean to put them in categories too you know but female producer i think she goes she's her production so well her vibe is on point and her stage her stage presence is uh is amazing too you know so it, it goes a long way she's be, a full package and you my know feelings, my, my feelings will be hurt if not low does not get in contact with me because <laughs> i'm trying to what up, oh, that shit is fucking great. But yo, every single person on here was was great, and every single person on here I would love to work with. So um, yeah, if you um, you guys you guys stop doing these when I'm taking shots because I'm now I'm just giving out free work. But it's all good <laughs> because all these people are all these people are dope as shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's uh, hopefully the thing. We you know they they get exposed to some of the artists that they look up to, and then they they realize that dude they got some. Uh, you know, talented fans too. And then it's the same same thing that I've been doing is like these people have a three hundred SoundCloud followers and I'm like, This is ridiculous, bro. You know? So it's just uh yeah. it's it's been a pleasure to like share them with, with people like yourself and uh you know and to get together. Yeah. So thank you everybody too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean for me it, the, the 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 industry cosign that I got in the in, in, in bass music what came from Lucid and once Lucid worked with me, Lucid did a whole EP with me early on before I was a name. And um, <clears throat> and that helped to make me a name, but he just recognized like, yo, this is some dope shit. And we made we made a little classic project. It's, it, if anyone's ever never heard the, the um, oh, no doubt, not low, I'm about to, I'm about to follow up. <laughs> if anyone's never, uh, if anyone's not heard the Wings EP, Lucid and Born Eye Music, Wings, 
that's a special project. I think it's like four tracks. It came out on Play Me Records like five years ago. But um, uh, but yeah, Lucid was the first one to be like, yo. And then um, and then came some. Then came Bass Nectar, but we're not going to talk about that. And then uh, and uh, and but then came so many other artists. You know, just because one artist had had uh, had the vision. So I'm all about passing that on for sure. Oh shit, man. Well, yo, well, seriously, thank you. I, I feel that every time I talk to you too, and you know, I, I haven't been sleeping on those verses, you know. So I've I've been working <laughs> on them. Uh, it's they've taken a few different shapes, but I'm I'm hyped to you know actually have something solidified in the in the works with you, uh, and something that now we can put on YouTube, a long form conversation. Yeah. We have we've had these a couple times after the fucking shows, you know. So uh, yeah. yeah, man, I'm looking forward to you know talk to you more, uh, you know whether it's on or off this. Uh, this weird little green screen thing. Absolutely, yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to your set on the seventh on my Born Eye presents, and um and we'll and the flyer is gonna go up in the next few days, and yeah, we'll get it popping, bro. Okay, word. I got the the fucking command for you too. So let me go. Everyone, go follow this man on on everything. And uh, <laughs> yeah, you do um you do uh, the meditation coaching right on uh, balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. So hey, yeah. If, you know, if anybody, if anybody um. Uh, if anybody is interested in having a personalized guided meditation experience, go to uh, look up Balance on the, in the Apple App Store or go to balanceapp.com and um, check it out. I'm the I'm the male voice on there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, dude, hey, thank you, thank you so much for everything. Uh, appreciate the convo and you just being you taking time out of your fucking vacation right now to, to hey. talk to us. Oh, good. This 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 felt like a part of the vacation, and I got exposed to some new artists and answer some answer some great questions, man. So much appreciation to you. If I could say if I could say uh, one thing to the audience, let's everybody take ten seconds. Take ten seconds right now. Just notice the posture that your body's in. If there's any discomfort or tightness, just go give give yourself a hug in the inside. You know, it might be awkward, but you know how to do it. You know how to hug yourself uh, just by saying it. Just show some love to yourself right now and show some compassion and care for yourself. And take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And just let yourself be here right now as yourself. You don't have to be anything more or less than who you are. Just accept who you are, accept where you are and take the next step forward with love and care and 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 be a gangster about it <laughs> yo damn well yo powerful words to leave off on man uh usually i do a little like goodbye but i think we'll we'll probably just end it off like just like that because how the fuck could i top that man you know this guy <laughs> he gave us our own little uh our own little balance right there you know first first one of the beat and greets dude <laughs> Well, hey, boss. Yo, seriously, thank you for doing this, man. Uh, I, I appreciate you so much. I, I'm looking forward to everything you do in uh, in the future, and uh, looking forward to you uh, working with you again, man. Thank you, thank you. We can we continue. Yeah, absolutely, dude. We'll stay strong, yo. Wish the you know the family safe and everything. Appreciate Keep it. Keep being you, baby. Yeah. Likewise to everybody. Peace to everybody. Hey, thank you so much, man. I'll be I'll be in touch. Thanks, man. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you too, bro. Hey. Peace. I love you, dog. All right. Guys, um, you know, I, I was nervous about bringing this thing outside of, of producers, and this isn't necessarily outside because Born Eye is a, a facet of our community. Uh, he's, you know, a big part of it. Uh, so having this guy be one of the first people to uh, – to help facilitate this into more of like a podcast or more of like just a conversation. Uh, and even if, dude, I, I loved his take on the tunes, man. I loved them. I really did. And I hope you guys did too. I'm sorry I didn't get to play all of them. But in, in order to make that up to everybody, uh, we'll do another one tomorrow. All right. Our first Saturday stream, our first Saturday beat and greet. And we got Black Carl. So if you guys got more tunes, uh, or if, or I'll just I'll get to the ones that we didn't get to today. Uh, please feel free to to do it tomorrow at seven thirty. We'll get our 
we'll we'll do another one. All right. So three fucking beat and greets in a week. I'm loving this. I hope you guys are too. Like real talk. Uh, this has been so fun to me. Born Eye is somebody I've talked to a lot after shows. He's always got me listening more than talking. So I'm glad I could ask him some questions. You know. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you for another great stream. Uh, yeah. We'll make we'll do it tomorrow. We'll do this again tomorrow. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, let me see. Let me see who we could raid. Let me see who we could raid. Uh, who? Anyone got any? Anyone got anybody? Anybody got anybody we could raid? Everybody have a great night. If not, get. We need a hydration check. We need. Yep. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, GTA Adult Swim is that what we're doing? <laughs> um, I don't know, man. I don't know about marbles. I. It's just I wanted to keep it clean and and everything for YouTube and whatnot. Keep it clean. Just keep it to the the beat and greets. Um. But yeah, let me let's see who we could raid. Let's do this guy. He's a nice guy. All right. I don't know what he's doing, but he's a nice guy. Love you guys. I'll see you soon. Um, if anything, message me on Discord. I'll be around. It's early tonight. It's 9 o'clock. Random stream. Oh, my Lord. Uh, love you guys. Okay? Let's just raid this guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Nice guy. I met him waiting for sushi stream. All right? Love you guys.